steady line at the bank today when this bad man walks through the door get a black ski mask motorcycle boots stood about six feet four possibly more but he pulled a pistol out from under his coat shined like it was brand spanking new and he shouted out hey hit the floor I knew just what to do I kicked the gun right out of his hand and then I knocked him to the ground I squished his face to the rug and I gallantly took a look around Just then the guy behind me said I believe you're next You're done daydreaming, yeah, son. I shook my head, then I cashed my check. It's just having a little fun. It's real life. I'm no dirty Harry in real life. I'd rather switch than fight I'm not the one Hangs around when it gets scary No, no I am the one that has to Sleep in the light So I went outside To catch my bus I do this time every night. It was this fair-haired angel just waiting there. She clearly had been her sights. So I played it cool. You know what I'm talking about? Nonchalant. I just occasionally Turn the glance. Next thing I knew, she was whispering in my ear. She said, Hey, big boy, let's see we take a chance. But when I turned to see her face, there was a bus driver there instead. He looked at me and said, Are you feeling all right? I just shrugged and went ahead. In real life, I'm no Valentino. In real life, I'm just another face in the crowd. I'm not the one thought to be macho. I am the one who never talks too loud. I'm up on the stage in front of thousands of people. The security staff is scared. Oh, hell's about to break loose when I finish, when I finish this set. Pandemonium is going to fill the air. That lasts until I forget my word or strike some errand chord. Brings me back to where I Really am, and I 
that you write for the Railroad Boys. Yeah. So that was really a treat. Dig it. Hey. <laughs> so are you, are you, are, do you think you'll ever do a, another solo type of record? Or are you going to stick with the Railroad Boys? I'd love to hear that on a recording. To. I would love to. Um, Maybe just you and your guitar. And your husband is so busy. Uh, he's he's the only guy there. that I would ever go to. But, uh, yes. but no, I would love to. I, I got a bunch. I got a bunch. Just sitting back there that, that the band, it's not really, not really built for the band. Right, right, yeah. Man. I love that. Yeah, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta do that. We gotta do that, right? We gotta hear another one from Jim. Get, a, get another CD out there, Jim. We gotta do that for sure. So, um, now I know that you were primarily interested in, in athletics and you're a big baseball star. You're the big three, right? You're a big three when you're younger, at least baseball, football. When did you really start getting into songwriting? What, what turned your head there? Songwriting was really, really late. Um, I never thought ever that I could ever. So I always respected songwriters. I always had to know who wrote the song. Mm -hmm. Never figuring myself that I could ever be able to write one myself, but I always wanted to know. No matter what the song was, if I loved that song, I, I wanted to know who wrote it. Yeah. Because I, it was like an awakening as a teenager. You'd hear the songs on the radio, and you just, I mean, I took it for granted without knowing. I thought, oh yeah, they, they made that song up. They created it. Mm -hmm. But they've just recorded it. And in fact, it was written by someone else. Uh -huh. and, yeah. When I discovered that, I, I took an interest in finding out who wrote it, who wrote it, who wrote right it. On. So it just became important to me from that aspect. But as far as writing itself, I didn't, I, I didn't get into writing till well into my uh, 30s, and it was really going to open mics. Oh wow! Yeah, I can't stress open mics enough. And sure. Caroline just, for those who may not know, runs the greatest open mic on the planet. Thank you. We do a version of it right here at Gray Fox on Wednesday after the campers yeah. come in. So, yeah. yeah, it's really fun. But uh, thank you. That's a great compliment. Anyway, Jim Gaudet right there, y'all. 